I decided I am going to do uh, a little bit more about MK Ultra. Yeah, this is a police station where I this is an original police station. And this lady came to picture in 1998. Before her, it was, um, it was also one lady, but. It was not as appealing. This one here was appealing to me too. This one I wanted to marry too. Just too many women I wanted to marry everywhere. I probably would be the happiest man with about 50 wives or something like that. Uh, happiness is uh, negotiable. Uh, but seriously, uh, <laughs> yeah, I flirted with a lot of females. Um, this just happens to be also one of them, but everybody knew that, uh, there is somebody else I am due. <laughs> I love this man. This he is from Japan uh, or his parents, something like this. Uh, a rabbit's uh, this shirt with a rabbit. Mm, Happy Chinese New Year. Um, the rabbits, rabbits were interpreted in a different way. You know, rabbits were interpreted in a different way. Some people interpret them. With what you see here. And this stuff was really, really not unique. To Donald Trump. Whatever I presented to one. Uh, it was. Commenced. Literally. My father from George Bush. Oh, I even got a skirt here. That's nice. A funny tradition of MK Ultra, however, also had a possibility for a darker side.
unlikely but the possibility for such scenarios humorously they suggested that an MPR tray existed. The sons the two daughters that she has in the let me see here because I have not spoken to her yet This here was a husband-in-law, from what I can remember, from one of the sisters. This here was a husband. I have not spoken yet. So I'm doing a little NK Ultra. I can't make anything out of this here. And uh, for this one here, who also passed away, uh, I figured out, according to translation, uh, was her brother. But uh, this here, this man here, I think it was a husband from one of her sisters. So this was her brother, I suppose. Uh, and this here that you see, from what I can recall, he was married to one of the sisters, I think, because he was in the family, and uh, I think I think that's what it was. It says here, Reverend, a priest. Uh, I have no idea if he was a priest. Was he? He was a priest. Maybe he was a priest. But I was. I figure out that this was a. Uh, husband from one of the sisters. This lady here that you see here. This one was. I just as wrote a comment already present in 1998 and there was another lady that was that used to work here uh with her there was two ladies that would work here um and that one was uh had uh, well uh, quite a few extra kilos as a matter of fact i am a real idiot total idiot i am she worked here since 1995 with a Prince Andrew and with a Charles we were right to this island in 1995 beginning on a day one of MK Ultra that's 30 years ago this is the police station we would have to report that was the procedure for the royals so the police would take care of everything everywhere was the police she was since 1995 you remember I remember her when she was a young woman Wow, man. Uh, wow. Uh, what a beautiful woman. And um, one of these guys, the one on the left, that's the son uh, from my friend, Lucy Lee Kazoo. 
Kazuo, loosely Kazuo, Lucy Lee, Kazuo. She could be a Chinese, Kazuo, and the Japanese, but her father is a Japanese. Lucy Lee, Kazuo. Okay. So and so, uh, there you have it here. Um, I had a real problem with this woman from Asia because uh, the longer this stuff went, the more insane maybe I became. The thing is that I I would just probably just want to have every one of them. <laughs> that was a real problem. They were not capable to fix this issue. Uh, not through the beatings, not through whatever they did. Um, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. These are her kids. This here are her kids. Yeah, this is a very beautiful lady. I mean, there's nothing, nothing you can. I mean, this is that's the way it is. So, you yeah. know. And this is a husband, uh, but I think this is from her sister. Sorry, this must be her sister then, and that's a husband from the sister. I'm gonna tell you. And uh, extremely, extremely close to her father, to the father of the Lucy Likazu. So you have here uh, her sister and, uh, you know, husband from the sister. Extremely, extremely close. Uh, the two love for one another. So his very love father, his grandfather is a... Uh, is, uh, now, when I saw here this shalom here and this and that, it reminded me of a Mexican lady, a friend from Mexico also who converted into a Hebrew. Uh, Hebrew, yeah, Hebrew. Uh, Judaism is one thing, but she... No. I think she married... Jewish uh, was in Israel and then she immigrated back to Mexico and so here was a little bit confusing for me today happy Sunday this is what I got right on my uh, at the Facebook when you open one the profile that's what I got that's what got my attention As you see I wasn't sure is it my Mexican lady or is it my who which one lady so Shalom, and I was like, okay, let's see which one is this. Uh, I was thinking about you get some more pictures from me, whatever. You see, that's how powerful Asian DNA is. Asian DNA extends all the way to the tip of Argentina, through the Brazilian rainforest. Central America. The more it is uninhabited by the civilization, the more still Asian DNA exists. I should say beautiful Asian DNA. All right, so that was MK Ultra from this uh, beautiful city, Lucy Lee Kazuo. Presented one. Hey, this this is just really. Um, a picture. Where. For which I was told. Uh, could see myself in the glasses. 
are just exactly identical to somebody else who was using the same kind of Oh, uh, she saw she shows the signs of being a stable condition. You who there you go. Oh no, that's December, but it's the first time that stuff that's displayed to me. Okay. Maybe we'll bring her to life, that's good. Giving her right now a CPR. What is this? Really? Uh, no more skiing for you, too. If this is how she has fallen, then no more skiing for you. That's it. Princess Badger Kitty of Amaidol is reported to have suffered a heart attack while running. Reports have suggested that she was then taken to a Bangkok hospital for treatment. The palace official statement suggests that Princess Badger Kitty of Amaidol, known in Thailand as Princess. I did some skiing and uh, I've seen everybody breaking their legs except one person that was myself i don't know for a single skier from my class from my age that at one point in time would not break his leg it was like taking kids into a hospital sooner than not they would one by one systematically appeared inside of the hospitals to be treated for broken legs as a children no i'm not kidding and uh, yeah we did a lot of crazy stuff skiing when young okay anyhow This is another girl, her friend, and so on and so forth. So this will be another MK Ultra part, which I am gonna do some other time. Thailand, Thailand was chosen according to the Asian nations for me. Uh, because Thailand was chosen because it's between the India and between the China. It's Taiwan. Uh, not Taiwan, but Thailand. 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 Uh, well, if I was, if I was, it was bad stuff that went on in Thailand, a lot of bad stuff. It was bad stuff that went everywhere, everywhere. But if I was brought from 
China to Thailand, I had a problem assimilating myself into a Thailand. If I was brought from India to Thailand, or that's interesting about the Thailand, or if I was brought from the US, or if I was brought from the Europe to Thailand, I had no problem assimilating myself into a Thailand. But if I was brought from China, or if I was brought from Japan, Japan had to give up on me. I had a real problem with the Japan because I like Japanese women too much. It was a real problem with this Japan. But if I was brought from the China or another Asian country that was more Asian than Thailand, I even had a problem assimilating into Thailand. But then again, I had no problem assimilating in Thailand if I came from India, if I was delivered from India, or if I was delivered from Europe, or if I was delivered from United States. And so the Thailandese people also came with their conspiracy theory. Yep, this is what the MKUltra was. That's how it was. So the racism I displayed during MKUltra, uh, it, uh, it traumatized me knowing that deep in me I did shit, you know, uh, for the most of it, I didn't even know what the fuck I was up to, uh, but <laughs> for the Asian people, <laughs> that's crazy, even for the black people, those that knew about this stuff, it did not present a problem, because of, you know, whatever you want to say this, but this is a very, very strange case. of me so uh russians had a problem with this kind of uh, stuff because i didn't see myself in russia at all i i saw myself in china and I saw myself. This, this was a real problem because the Russians wanted to destroy me at all the costs. At all the costs. They didn't know what the fuck to do with me to destroy me. And they had a real problem realizing that bringing me from Russia to the China, it was a blessing for me. Exactly contrary to what Putin anticipated is going to be the case. Putin was like, uh, really excited about the Vietnam and China, how, hey, hey, you know, what, you know, the potential he's going to get through me, uh, that they will just crave basically to destroy me. Uh, if not China, uh, maybe at least North Korea or something, and this potential of his, uh, it turned sour. Because I, my racism, the way I was, the way the way he wanted to portray my racism, at all the costs from every angle possible, it was just backfiring on him all the time. It was very difficult. That's what actually fucked. Uh, some other people too. Um, In my room, since this is the, the video about, uh, you know, where I literally portrayed this Nazi swastika. Uh, so that I'm going to give my own view on things, so I basically 
I wouldn't see this. They wouldn't show me this. They wouldn't demonstrate me. They told me that this was so bad with this Nazi shit uh, that I delivered into Indonesia that, um, you know, that I probably will never be demonstrated this crap I did in Indonesia. Uh, so, uh, in my room, I have a different kind of, uh, since 2017, I have maybe even 2016 or 2015, I don't know. I had a different kind of, I have a different kind of, I have a different kind of memorial. There is a big flag uh, on the wall. Uh, the, the communist flag. The one that Hitler did not like. That's the biggest communist. Um, this lady, when she would go up there to film this for me, she did. She filmed this every time. I God knows every time I came. She would go with the fear, with this, all scared, and she would film this thing. She wasn't sure whether they're going to rip this apart before I'm going to even come out or whatever. Uh, all the neighbors, everybody was traumatized with this. The whole fucking city was on their toes because of this structure. They learned on this private property. Because grandfather was so sneaky. He <laughs> no, he did something. He did something sneaky behind everybody's back. Nobody knew what went on. And when, <laughs> when, when this stuff came out and grandfather did his great opening, everybody was traumatized. Everybody, everybody was on those. <laughs> but he did a really good job, you have to admit. I know this. Wait a minute. This is huge. So this is basically in my room since 2015, right? Yeah, 2017, actually. 2016, 2016. 2016. Yeah. Why is this inside of my room? What is this? going on. This is a Chinese flag that even the Chinese Communist Party fears. Why is this? This is an old Chinese flag. Not a new one. This is the old one. Okay, this is inside of my room. 
because because of the world because because of what Germans have done to me because of what British royals have done to me and even more so because the way they treated me and I never complained about their mistreating me even that they did mistreat me but the way they treated me and the way they treated me is contrary to let's say Elon Musk contrary to Zuckerberg contrary to uh, Bill Gates contrary to all the people that were involved but really like Elon Musk or Peter Thiel or all these people who came from other places and became so filthy wealthy without even moving their tails uh, the government loaded them with the technology you have like a Google funders let's say which are Russians it's said that they are Russian Jews and it really doesn't matter because the Nazi swastika is not in my eyes is no different than what Richard Nixon stated in 1994 just prior to my arrival to United States of America the case is going to be because this so-called whites to realize this global domination this global control this global plan they did not only promote Elon Musk's on a world stage loaded them with unlimited amounts of money but next to the people like this they promoted even those for whom they deemed is important to promote so they would see themselves in something that was part of a destruction in the past which applied directly to them. If these Google founders are Jews, you know, if they are Jews, why do they see themselves in a real thing like here? Russians, it doesn't matter. The Russians supposedly lost 27 million during the Nazi war, Second World War, and look what they're doing today in the Ukraine. Never mind me, where they were trying to destroy me and they lied and they depicted me the way they depicted me and wanted to depict me to the world. But, you know, look what they're doing today in Ukraine. Look what they did to the people in Chechnya. Look what they did to the people in other parts of the world. British royals Swedish royals, Norwegian royals, Dutch royals came out with an extremely disgusting plan. Dutch royals alone claimed in 1995 and 1996 they owe me $10 billion for the stuff I do. British royals 50 billion dollars for the stuff you do you will get um, US government in 2000 we owe you more than 200 billion dollars and you're talking about the US Congress you're talking about a lot of people that came visited claimed same thing uh, you're talking about royalism as a way of something 
the most based on my observation based on something most disgusting a human being possibly can be faced with something completely lawless without the laws but forget about laws completely completely unethical completely completely without any kind of conscience going after something literally who have I've seen myself in Europe I never wanted to be part of greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia because it was six nations that genocided in the name of Yugoslavia which in reality was just a concentration camp of greater Serbia and for my benefiting and fighting for the NATO literally the British royals began to see themselves instead when this genocide commenced in the royals from Serbia which were exiled during the Second World War due to cooperation with the other Hitler to London to Great Britain rather than in something that is not even part of Serbian nation and have sided with them since basically since my kindergarten since I was born almost with the United Europe with the European Union with the NATO and so on that's why I came to realize that royalism in my eyes the way I see what you did is the ultimate scam you scammed me you robbed me of my life you left me a dreadful legacy to deal with life due to health issues harm I came to conclusion that this is a necessary part of every society in this world for humanity to survive next to such a cruelest, cruel uh, reality I was faced with from the people that for whom I deemed would be my allies and so on I took this very very personal and this symbol here that you see this hammer and ziggle became symbol of resistance it became single symbol of resistance to a mental slavery which British enforced against me uh, with a final solution with a final goal which is actually to get me murdered in front of the world for something I had nothing to do with in real life on both sides of my family both sides both parts of my family belong to national resistance during the World War two and something they alone have participated in during the Second World War till they were busted by the British till British faced war with the Hitler and especially due to their colonial imperialistic colonialist appetites they had for the entire world especially Asia for me to survive for me to gain humanity for me to become a human being again to see myself in a normal things this symbol was a matter of life and death because of the corruption without my seeing seeing myself in a symbol in laws and in a work even if for free work which British royals enforced against me forced unemployment forced blocking of banking solutions no donation no shit not even the right to earn one single dime on a YouTube or other channels or through 
uh, any kind of company out there that I apply that I would display ads and so on. I have seen myself understanding completely what capitalism is all about. Capitalism is all about whatever capitalism can do to one in terms of damage. That's what capitalism is all about because capitalism foremost is in the name of take, not give, but take. In this case, steal life. This, what you see right there, became my symbol of resistance. It became symbol of me more than even my grandfather, who was secretary of resistance here in the city of the Novo Mesto. He was the one who ran operations in the city for medications that would go to the partisans in the forest. For me to see myself as a human being, I had to see myself more than the people who claimed were communists, like neighbor Miroslav Berger, a rotten criminal who claimed was a communist who would travel to the Belgrade. Since I remember him during Yugoslavia, he traveled to Belgrade to meet with these people, Milosevic and all these big people in this National Assembly uh, in this Serbian Belgrade. Uh, I had to see myself more than people like Milan Kuchan, who also claimed, just like Berger, neighbor Berger, is a communist, to scam China. I had to see myself in literally to survive, literally in that hammer, in that ziggle. Arbeit macht frei. Indeed, I had to see myself as a worker for free, who's gonna beat the fuck out of these scammers. Royalist scumbags. Talking about the European, your royalism. I don't wanna have nothing to do with the Asians because I am, I am European and Europe didn't do much for the Asia, to be honest with you. And uh, being here from Eastern Europe, I don't want to have nothing to do with any kind of claims against the human rights because everything was through the Britain, through the Berlin, through the Germany that went on in part of the Asia. They paid, they financed this kind of stuff that went on. For me to survive, finally, I had to see more in myself than compare myself with the scumbags, like a Miroslav Berger, like a, like a Milan Kuchan, who were beating me in front of memorials dedicated to the partisans, delivered me to the Serbs into a shooting uh, front lines in the Serbia and in Bosnia, uh, while claiming to Chinese that they are the one, a uh, real communists. I had to see myself in that hammer. I had to see myself in that ziggle. I had to see myself in more, even that one, what my grandfather presented during the World War II, if that's even possible. I had to see myself in that star, red star that you see right there to survive. Or I would face ultimately what many other people I believe faced. And that's the, really a death. I had to see myself in laws. I had to see myself in everything that was prohibited to me. And that's that flag in my room that you see right there. Just remember what the fuck that flag is. Be careful with that flag. Yes, I am a capitalist. I am. But, you know, next to the capitalism issues and so on, it's very important for anybody that is promoting self-work and dedication also to recognize laws and uh, basically equality for other people so that you don't only take. Taking is important part in life, but what is it for you to only take and steal and rip off and keep that money to yourself without 
giving those around you the ability, a possibility uh, to also thrive. We're no longer in the age where you would give the people the opportunity to work on the fields or to hammer some piece of metal or something so they could earn that cent at the end of the month. We are in an era where you have the ability to build schools which are going to give ultimately a job market to the people and broader understanding of having the ability to exercise independence themselves, therefore becoming a productive uh, capitalist themselves. That's basically the capitalism the way I see it. And then I would go and literally deprive somebody of health care even, not only of the job. That's bullshit. This is what Americans and Germans claim Stalin did, that Stalin was the one, that, that British royals even enforced the fucking psychiatry treatment, mistreatment, hospital in 2013 against me. That's basically after 18 years. I got nothing to be proud about connection with these people. I love this place. I love it. I love her because, you know, do you see how she is closing this gate? She is completely anxious about this shit. She is, she is like, they gained a lot of attention to this stuff. And she is closing this door. She reminds me of me. When I was doing a filming from the beginning, because it was so dangerous, you know, and I was doing this stuff. Uh, I can relate to her in absolutely every way, you know. This is the only thing I can say, basically, is thank you.